My name is Joanna Finch and I self-publish children's books. Not just any children's books, I started off with rhyming science for kids, tackling um, physics and tech. I have a background in mechatronic engineering and so does my husband. Um, so it felt only natural that we wanted to educate our babies. Like Our baby was literally a baby when I started writing Buzz the Electron, talking about electricity, voltage and current, um, with the intention to share it to her who couldn't speak at the time. And so I said to my husband, yeah, I'm going to write rhyming science books for kids. Um, and it actually took me two years after I said <laughs> pick up an iPad and actually start because I had no idea what I was doing. I'd never done a children's book before. I'd never um, published anything. I'd never illustrated anything. Um, but yeah, I guess it was just one step at a time. Uh, my husband showed me a TikTok about how to, how to publish a ebook on Amazon and it was like a 30 second TikTok. Um, and I just followed its steps, um, went on to Fiverr, found an illustrator. I'd already kind of sketched out um, a pencil sketching on a napkin of what I wanted and just got an illustrator to create images that were published, um, worthy for publishing. So I started with the science books. So there's Buzz the Electron, Violet the Photon, Bucky the Carbon Atom, and Ada the AI. And the next one coming up, I don't know what the character's name is going to be yet, but it will have to do with DNA transcription. So we'll start breaking into biology. Oh, and then when I was pregnant with my third daughter, I started writing a new series called Medio the Polynesian Mermaid, um, which is very different from the science book. So it's not about science and tech, education and empowerment. This one's more about, you know, matters of the heart and human interest and just producing something that is very high quality um, and has Polynesia in it. I still work as a controls engineer part-time remotely. One of the beauties of technology these days um, is that I can work remotely because I do like to keep that side of my brain ticking along. Though in saying that, I do have plans uh, to develop a new product line in, that comes under the Mrs. J. Finch umbrella um, that is baby tech. And the whole, but one of the whole points of this product line is to take the audience through the development process so that people can see a mom, a Pacific, a Pacific Island woman actually writing code and thinking of a device and getting sensors and stuff and sticking them together to make something work and then putting it on shelves um, to help other people. Um, because I'm all about empowering and encouraging and just taking away that that perception that someone else has to be smarter than me with more resource than me to do it um, that's the hope anyway i haven't started it i've written the functional design spec but again that was two years ago i feel like this year is going to be the year i'm actually going to prototype and record but yeah i still do um engineering uh part-time in the background and uh, I am hoping one day that I will be doing the Mrs. J. Finch books and art and um, engineering product design full time. I will one day, it's just a matter of time. I've got my engineering side of my brain and then I've got the creative magic side of my brain. And the engineering side's like, follow the money, be pragmatic, which is true. <laughs> and then the creative side's like, yeah, but what's life about, you know? You're not gonna have any money when you pass away. Bring joy and light. Um, so in my younger days, I was definitely more of the black and white engineering mind. And it served me well. And I think becoming a mom changed that a little bit for me. And I look more towards the future and the future, you know, even after I've passed and the future after that for the next generation. And I actually do care about it. I've been, I'm invested in it because I've got three beautiful darlings that will inherit that world. Um, and so it's not always about the money. I think money will come when your heart and passion is in it.